hi everyone and welcome back in this video we are going to play with the forms so like uh, square js forms forms validation and what are the different ways to capture the value from the swell forms we are going to take a look into input text fields checkbox radio groups and how we can apply the validations and all these in coming couple of videos so a simple input text field we can write input type text and we can simply do a uh, value and then uh, on input if you are not going to just start using the bind value this is the default alternative uh, which is like on input you write the events set value and then you define the set value function and there you do value equal to event dot target dot value this is the the one simple way of doing it okay so here we will define a function set value and that function will take event object as an input and value equal to event dot target dot value the another simple way is we can also do the, the bind value which felt provides so we can write input type text instead of writing on input we can simply just write a bind value equal to bind value so here we can simply write uh, input type text let's say i am adding another input type text field input type text and here i can simply use a bind value equal to value so whenever there is a change in the value it will update the value it's like same as the two way data binding we can update the styling because due to this background color we are not able to see the text fields so i will just remove the styles we have we are adding in the input.html index.html and now it should be able to render our both text field and whenever we are typing something it should be able to update the value inside the text field okay here we can see now we can write uh, this is just a simple example how the simple to be data binding works in swell.js by just using the bind value uh, and it take, takes care of everything how to populate the value into the template and how we can change the value from the input text field and update the the javascript object or the variable so bind value so this is the custom input is the component let's say i wanted to write a custom input component so it can be just a simple input text field i am writing inside that component template so custom input dot svelte component we will write and then we will import it and then we can use custom import custom input component and we will pass the value as a props here custom input dot svelte we will write script and just input type text field here we are receiving something in the props so we will declare export let value and here we can write our input text field input type text and bind value to this value so it's just like okay i wrote just another component which is receiving value as a props and i just did the same thing i'm doing the bind value and this is another text field so if i'm typing something inside this text field it will update so here it is updating all the values whenever i'm typing something in the third text field because we are using the same variable and doing the bind of that variable into three different text fields okay now we are going to play with uh, radio button checkbox and checkbox group let's say how we uh, capture the values from this here this is how you can actually watch the value changes happening in the value when you are typing into the text field adding the value you can watch and you can use this dollar expression so that it will always print i mean this dollar expression will execute when you are updating the value inside the text field with any other input type input type number date it works in the same way we are just using the bind value and we can bind value with the price we can declare this variable and we can also add a watch expression for this so whenever there is a change in the price we should be able to log it so this is how you can create a simple text fields and you can write a sign up login page login form sign up form 
any kind of form using just a bind value we should be able to capture the value from those input text fields in the bind value you can also map it to an object property let's say user dot username user dot email user dot password or something like that and let's see how we do it for the checkbox for the checkbox we are going to use bind checked to apply the value or to capture the value so bind value is for input text field bind checked is for checkbox and here we are using agreed as a variable and we can also watch for the variables agreed variable agreed whenever you click on to the checkbox or uncheck the agreed will become true and false we can add a watch expression here console.log agreed similarly we can do the we can talk about the examples where we are using radio group or the checkbox group radio group is uh, another example and what we do is we have an input type uh, radio and there how can we have the same kind of behavior input type radio where, where we are going to have a common name property so here we will just simply add input type radio and uh, we will just put the name here we are capturing the colors and the value equal to the the value which this radio button will provide when you click on to this radio button and here we have to use bind group this is the dynamic variable in which we are going to assign the value of this radio button bind group your like favorite color or something you can repeat the radio button a number of times so here, here we have to declare our value my color with some value let's say the red blue green based on that by default the radio button will be available and when you change it this particular variable will also gets updated okay so these are all the different examples of a radio button input text field similarly we will write the drop downs and all in the next video what we will do is we will create a custom input component that can manage all the different input types and different controls like radio button select drop down and all these